Okay, so let's look at this here. I'm going to get rid of this history window. Let's get this. I'm going to put my swatches over here so everything's a little more organized. Okay, so I don't know if I have this. Okay, so I already saved this selection. So there it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Command C, Command V, and I'm going to pop it in here. And I just want something behind it. So I'm just going to do our standard um, gradient. Okay? But you could do whatever you want. So I would look around at different ways because now it's, I want you guys to kind of do, take a little bit of liberties here. So I'm just going to put that for now, just so I have a background. Now, if I want to do this corner window, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go Command R. We've talked about that before for rulers, and I'm going to pull a. Um, I'm going to say my window is going to come out to here. So I'm going to go. I think I'm going to get my polygon lasso tool. I'm going to make a um, layer mask. Okay. I think I'm going to try and line it up this way. Now you can eyeball the perspective on this. It's fine. Okay, so let's see if I can go. Okay, so I'm taking out where that's... Now notice I left that little sliver right there. Why? because that's a cellophane front. It's an acetate window. So it'll get a little um, highlight on it, right? So I'm gonna put a layer behind this, and this is just the way I'm doing this. I mean, I'm just improvising this, okay? So I'm gonna put another, now I'm gonna move this um, guide to right here on that corner, right? Because that's gonna give me a guide as to how far the depth is on this box. So I'm gonna put another layer here, and I'm just gonna make a couple of shapes. I'm going to say it's right about there, and then I'm going to turn this corner. Now, the rest of it's going to go behind the box, so it doesn't matter. Okay, and then I'm going to go gray, and I'm going to dump that in there, and I'm going to go one more. I'm going to make one more shape. I'm going to put it. Now, I don't have to worry about uh, where it lines up at because I'm going to use the other shape. I'm going to fill this one now. Same thing. Only now I'm going to select the one beneath it, do an invert, get rid of the over, over, whatever. Okay, and then I'm going to go multiply, and then I'm going to pull this down a little bit. Okay, so now if I go here, view, clear guides, I'm starting to get my box shape. Does that make sense? It looks like it goes up a little bit, so I'm going to go to edit. Transform, distort, and I'm going to pull this down a little bit. It feels like it's going up too high. Still does to me. Edit, transform, distort. Okay, so now what I could do is there's different things I can do. I could come here and I could go, I'm going to select my box shape, put a layer over it, pick a color, fill it. Oops. Okay, that's the other thing. This file that I'm giving you is grayscale. So I have to go up here and go to mode and change it to RGB. Because right now it's grayscale. And say don't merge. You don't want to flatten it. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to fill this again with a blue. Okay. By the way, label your, um, your, um, wait a minute. There. Okay, so now I'm just going to, this is a white box, correct? So it's going to accept whatever color I have on top of it. If I just go through and multiply, I'll probably be fine. And now I'm going to select, I'm going to command click that little image. I'm going to invert because I want that little space. I'm just going to delete that. 
So now I can start to build my color. Now, if I didn't want to do it that way, if I was going to build, so what I'm going to want you to do is build your graphics, however you're going to build them, probably as a flat, and then come in here and go, so I'm going to just take this, again, just because it's what I have. I'm going to go Command V. I want to knock down the I'm going to knock down the opacity so I can see through it. And maybe I will go edit transform distort. And I'm going to pull this down to follow the perspective of it. And I could do the same thing I just did with the other one. I'm going to put this back up to 100%. I'm going to select my box. Actually, I'm going to select this color I made. Go invert and get rid of the excess. Then I'm going to go overlay. Okay. Now, what I would probably do is I would bend things around this. So I might go, let's go back to here. And also, I wouldn't do the type on the same thing. I would do the type on its own, you know, do it on, on its own layer. That you could just do live, and then you can adjust it. But a lot of times, I'll take these kinds of things, like this image. And this is what you're going to have to do. I'm going to have to go take that, and then I might go, I'm going to knock this down a little bit. And I might go, okay, distort, oops, edit, distort, to pull this down to get it to start to follow the box shape. But then I might come in here now and go, take my marquee tool, my square one, go right on this edge. And then again, I can take my uh, edit, transform, distort, and I can pull this back so it bends around the, around the box. And then again, pick this, put this on 100, delete it, oops, multiply it. Okay, so now it's wrapping around our box. Now, I could also take things like, if I create a... a I'm just going to do an illustrator real quick. If I take a graphic, like a logo or something, well, let's just real quick make a logo. Do we have add on this? make this orange for some reason. Okay. And if I had this element, so some of these elements are going to build individually, okay? I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go to edit, transform, don't give me the story. Hang on. There it is. I'm going to pull this down. And I got it there. And then maybe. Or maybe this is part of my die cut window right here. But I'm going to do it right here.
And I just got to kind of get that lined up so it's believable and from a perspective. Okay, does that make sense? So I want to know today what your subject is. Have fun with it, you guys. I'm not going to edit the hell out of you. I'm not going to get all of you about anime and all that kind of stuff. So do what you want. I just want a really nice package. Okay? Okay. Hmm? You, uh, that would be nice. Yes, let's put a let's put a toy in there. Whatever it is, so I would look at and don't copy it exactly like Funko, but look at Funko, look at all those kind of places that are doing really interesting, um, you know, like designer toys and stuff like that. That's the stuff you really want to look at. They have killer packaging, especially the stuff that's uh, limited edition and all that. 